according to the course, a miracle is is generated through forgiveness. Forgiveness is the conduit to miracles. And forgiveness, according to the course, the way the course uses the word forgiveness, is simply the willingness to see the truth. And this all makes logical sense if you think about it. So what surfaced in my mind is I was saying the prayer and I think this would be just a cool to review. You know, the Course says, in the Course, Jesus says, when I said, I and my Father are one, I meant that. And the same is true for you. However, I said it in an order. I and my Father are one, which implies there is a difference and that the Father comes first. And from the Father or from Source or from God comes you. And that the problem the ego has is it inverts that and it wants to believe it is God and it makes God in its image and it makes itself. The ego believes itself made. There's also an order to um, God's plan in the world. And the Course says, once we created the world of illusion, we basically jumped into this crazy box and then threw the key out the door God sent a tether to the key, and that's the Holy Spirit, and a plan to bring us back to sanity, back to truth or reality, using the very illusion we created to take us away from truth. That has an order. Um, <clears throat> and so this course is a course in miracles, and according to the course, um, a miracle is is generated through forgiveness. Forgiveness is the conduit to miracles. And forgiveness, according to the Course, the way the Course uses the word forgiveness, is simply the willingness to see the truth. And this all makes logical sense if you think about it. If what we're in is an illusion, the opposite of a truth that we invented and made up, in order to have, and all of the what seemingly bad things that happen to us here um, require a miracle. Miracles when that bad thing is somehow undone miraculously. All that's really happening is you're seeing the truth instead of the illusion. And if in order to see the truth, you have to be willing to see the truth because the only one holding the illusion in place is us. That we are actually fiercely holding on to the very things we say we don't want because we're, our identity is locked up in it. We think we are this body. We think we can suffer and have pain and all that. And so we hold on to and we actually fear seeing the truth. But in order to have the truth come in, you have to ask for it. That's what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is the willingness to see the truth. That's the very first step of the process of atonement or of the God's plan for bringing us back to our awareness of oneness with each other and with God. And so the first step is forgiveness. Forgiveness leads to miracles. The willingness to see the truth allows you to see the truth and when you see the truth where there was once an illusion, the illusion will disappear and the truth will show up. And that will look like what we call a miracle. Sudden healing, transformation in a relationship. Instead of drowning, you're saved by some crazy guy with long hair. Like, you know, a miracle shows up. Forgiveness leads to miracles. Miracles lead to revelation. A revelation happens when you've had enough miracles or the right miracles to make you ready to actually see the ultimate truth. It's temporary. A revelation, as the world, the word implies, means something is being revealed to you that you don't normally see. And so what you're seeing is the whole truth about yourself. And a revelation is a very personal experience. Everybody gets to have them but yours will not be like mine, mine will not be like yours. They're very specific to each person while we seem to be separate of each other. It will speak to you in a very special way and show you the ultimate truth. It's temporary, but once you see it, you cannot forget it. You're forever altered. You're a level beyond. And you still will go into the illusion and have some temptation to believe in and experience it to some degree, but never again fully. You'll never be able to fully buy in. And so 
this can lead to all kinds of things on this level. Uh, people may experience you as strange because maybe you don't fear things they fear or you see things slightly differently because you get on some level, this isn't real. This isn't what it really is. You're actually just pure flowing light. Everything and everyone around you is pure, pure flowing light flowing into you and out of you all the time. Once you've seen that and experienced it as true, you can't unsee it, right? You can't, the Course says you'll never again be able to fully buy into, I'm a body. The body is not real, ultimately. Okay, so again, forgiveness, the willingness to see the truth leads to seeing the truth. Seeing the truth allows a miracle or transformation, the form will shift to match the truth that you see. Miracles make you ready for revelation. Revelation is an enlightenment experience where you see you're enlightened. You see the light in all things, right? And then revelation, ultimately, that series of events leads to the atonement. And the atonement is when you finally become fully aware of the truth of us of, as God originally created us, which is as one thing, spirit, not body, but ever flowing, ever extending love. And, you know, once that happens at Dome and Capital A, we've, we're all doing that together. You do not do that separately of me, right? We do it together. And so the Course says we will eventually get there. And it says no matter what it looks like in the world, we are moving in that direction. Everything is moving us toward that, whether we can see it or not. And that can be hard to grasp given some of what's going on in the world, right? And all the fear that's getting generated. and. You know, the things that obviously at this level of reality are not good. You know, the, um, the environment, what's happening with, you know, um, in the world with weather and with the fires and with COVID and with all that stuff, you know, can be very frightening. And I'm, I'm certainly not outside of that. I've been dealing with some of that fear this week myself. Um, but remember, the Course says there's always, there's a solution to every problem, but the solution does not come from you. All true solutions come from source, not from you, the ego you know yourself to be. And it will guide you if you seek it. It will tell you exactly what to do. It also says, and this is something I've been thinking a lot about this week, is that um, all illness is mental illness, it says. All illness, there's, you know, one of the beautiful things about the Course is it, it gives no leeway. It is either this or it's this, it never gives you an in-between. It can't be a little bit of some illnesses, mental illnesses, some is real. No, it's all illness is mental illness because everything's being generated from your mind, right? So there's a, in a few pages ahead of where we're gonna be reading today, it talks about the little round pill, the little round tablet, I think it says, that you put in your mouth, you take your headache away, it's going to heal you or fix your illness. It says that that is basically, it doesn't use the word placebo, but it says that's basically um, a placebo. It's just, it's the pill itself isn't doing anything for you. What's doing it for you is what you believe about the pill. You believe it will. So it acts as a device to allow your belief to heal you. And it says there's nothing wrong with that. While you think you need that, by all means, use it. And it's, it actually advises not to go beyond what you're ready to do. You can understand these things as concepts, but if you're not at a certain level or not beyond a certain amount of fear, you know, you're not going to be able to use your mind in a creative way to transform and do healings on yourself without using the pill, right? Um, and so it's okay to use those things, but it's really important to know where you're at and where's your head at. The direction that it goes, that the God's plan for transformation or for atonement goes is forgiveness, the willingness to see the truth allows you to see the truth, which leads to miracle, which is simply the truth taking the place of the illusion, right? Which is really just an idea in your mind. And then the outside world, the movie reflecting the truth instead of the lie. And then enough of that happening in your life brings you to a certain level where you're ready for um, a revelation experience. And we're not in charge of that. The Course says Jesus is in charge of that or the Holy Spirit's in charge of that. Because it 
It knows your revelation readiness. And when you are ready, it will be delivered and it'll take you up a few notches and you'll be operating at a different level. Thank you for joining us for today's quick video of the Course in Miracles Discovery Meeting. If you want to watch the full version and be able to jump into the live stream and participate, please click below and join the Miracle Makers community. We are here to make miracles together, to make miracles happen for you and for the greater community as a whole. So please click below, become a member of the Miracle Makers community. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.